Having our employees work and build their own vehicles is one of the many things that sets us apart from the competitors, being that we work and live the off-road lifestyle that we try to cater to. I work my day job, um, I'll work on the truck during lunch breaks, I'll have an hour on lunch, so I'll, I'll pull it in the shop, I'll work on it for an hour. I mean, three and a half straight months of every weekend, eight to 10 hour days. So I'm a sales manager for Poly Performance. Um, I sell shocks, off-road parts, lift kits, suspension, kind of a little bit of everything. I had a 4Runner before this truck and I kept smashing all the windows out on it and the body panels. I just decided I didn't want to keep dealing with the full body rig is what they call it. I'd been talking about building my truck with one ton axles for, I don't know, probably the last year and a half. So it turned into a way bigger project than I thought it would be. There's a huge advantage on having the guys have their own rigs and doing their own builds. The sales staff are all enthusiasts and uh, you know, they're all building their own stuff. So, you know, I have kind of a, an open door policy for guys to use the shop after hours. So weekdays, you know, after we close down, after five, six at night, guys are in the shop wrenching, building their own stuff. We redid the whole suspension on it, three-linked it, and come to find out the axle I had under it was bent. So my tires were pointing in like this, and it was wearing all my tires out. So I was like, okay, I gotta get some new axles, and this seemed like the way to go was uh, Super Duty axles. So I took some Ford F-250 axles, put them under the truck, and then decided to just cut the whole frame off the front of the truck, because what I had on there before was just, you know, kind of hacked together. So I thought it'd be easier to just clean it all up, cut it off, start from scratch. Just, you know, kind of figured it all out as I went, just from reading what other people had done. I think part of the reason having people that are, are into, you know, the hobby uh, helps us build lasting relationships with customers because we're not just some nameless store on the internet you can call and talk to the same people you talked to last time you, you know, had something you needed to do to your vehicle. Uh, a lot of our customers have been customers since I started. And, you know, 14, 15 years later, they're still contacting us for their needs. And it's, it's great to see people out on the trail or out camping that we've helped and talked to over the years. and point out like, oh yeah, you sold me this and you helped me get these and you told me about this stuff. And you know, it's great to, to be able to build a, a lasting relationship with our customers. It's really given me a good appreciation for the parts I sell and the knowledge because now I know what I'm selling. I know what parts are required to accomplish this build, what's needed. I can help, you know, people through the, the whole process from spring rate calculations to to what you know, joints to use on the axle and gear ratios, and it's been a big learning curve, but it helps me to help other people when I'm selling to them because I know what they're going to be going through. <laughs>